Hello, it's Mike Myers. I'm president of the Society of Insurance Research. And I'd like to welcome you all to this month's President's Chat, where I get to catch up with past presidents, learn a little bit about uh, their time in SIR, and um, potentially even how we can get better as an association. So this month, I am with Candace Thornton, and she was president in 2006. And I'm going to let Candace uh, introduce herself. Tell us a little bit about your career in insurance. All right, great. Well, this is a really fun idea. Thanks for having me. Um, I think this is, a, this, is, this, is this is like um, you brought some energy and a new flavor of leadership um, to bring this cool idea to fruition. So thanks. I think it's really fun. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about that. So since you mentioned it, we wanted to do this last year since it was our 50th anniversary. And it was, you know, we thought about maybe we could um, play a video, maybe have some of the past presidents come to the conference, that kind of thing, and recognize it. But it was so complicated running a hybrid conference that our, our virtual conference the first time that we didn't get to it. So when I uh, assumed presidents this, uh, the presidency this year, I was like, I'm just going to knock this out and we're going to do it every month. And it's been, I don't know if anybody gets more out of this than me. I really enjoy these conversations and I share them with everybody else, but I, I love it. So uh, thanks for being here. And and uh, and now tell us, I know you've got a story career in insurance. You've, had, you've been in a, a number of different companies, but tell us about, you know, how, you know, how you grew up in the industry. All right. Well, this industry is full of amazing, humble, and smart people, and I gravitate toward servant leadership or being in a service kind of culture, and I find that this industry is perfect. The society is great, both of which have provided me a great source and feeling of community, uh, so I've, I've stayed in this industry um, for a long time, and um, over a decade ago, I had the privilege of co-developing the largest consortium in the nation for insurance buying behaviors in both PNC and life and health. Mm -hmm. And at that time, um, I was really focused on applied research and uh, helping enterprises uh, just learn how to utilize information to help them grow, market share, expand into new lines or geographies. Um, and it would, all, it would all be based on the buying propensities uh, or the underlying macroeconomics. And so um, mm -hmm. I've always been in that data world, I always very much enjoyed it. And that's how I met SIR. Um, all the conferences at that time for me and, and continuing had just the coolest conference agendas that really spoke to me, they were on topic. Um, so I found a home with this organization. And I'd like to say that I'm a better insurance professional for all of my experiences in coming here to the events, to outside events, networking with colleagues, um, through the membership, actually joining committees and all the leadership opportunities because it really pushes you out of a comfort zone and makes you think slightly differently. Um, and it just, it has helped me grow professionally, both in my company and just as a better um, person in the industry. So, um, yeah. so I wanted to share a few things about the SIR. Um, awesome. Well, yeah. Tell us about, you know, that yeah, we want to know about um, some of the highlights of your involvement with SIR, you know, either prior to, uh, during, and you had two terms as president. So tell us, tell us about your, your, your contribution to SIR. Well, I did. And, and so when you said 2006, I'm like, wait, I thought it was this other year, but um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've held a lot of positions in SIR. I started like right when I joined, I joined the membership committee. Um, that's how you you got in and you, you just start meeting people and uh, figuring it out. At that time, that was what I wanted to do. And I started then um, being given the opportunity to uh, be the, the chairperson for the for you know the workshops and then the annual conference and membership. And uh, it was always really great. Good parliamentary procedure um, back then. Do you still do that? Yeah, we struggle through it a little bit, like, do we have a nomination, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, so, uh, but yeah, it's always something that you have to jot on your, the palm of your hand and remember not to mess it up, 
So. <laughs> it, it's real, actually, that's something I, I just thought of. But anyway, the, um, you know, like I said, this is a community for me. And no matter where people are employed throughout their careers, it's a small community. I always, um, you know, interact with, with folks I've met and no matter where they are working, right? And, and we're always, you know, coming back together at the SAR conferences. Um, it, I find that everybody's very genuine and helpful. They've been wonderful throughout the years. Like I said, a professional development for me is one of the greatest things that um, I've been able to do through all of the learnings and the networking I've had here. Um, whenever I see someone, it's like no time has passed and you know, it's real at that point, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. It's just, um, when I come to conferences, I think it's intimidating to be in a room with hundreds of people that are strangers. And I am actually shy in that way. Um, but when I come back to SIR, it always feels like coming home. And so I really wanted to say my favorite memories about SIR, um, beyond wearing all those hats, are all around the people. They are, well, okay, so here are some. So. Related to coming to the conferences, favorite memories are um, being on the pulse of trends. Like when Charlie King Dollar would come and give a futurist presentation. I was like, wow, how does he know the future? I want to hear <laughs> what people are anticipating so that I can anticipate that on behalf of wherever I'm working, you know, and, and just mm -hmm. learn the skill sets that are that are one step out. That's my dog, that's down. Um, and uh, just be on the pulse. I, I just found it so fun to be right there. And when I was president, I was the last president to serve with Stan Hop. So that's one memory. Um, like I said, all my favorite memories around, around the people, some of which have passed and some you'll recognize. Um, a couple, Carol and Randy, yeah. been over to Herb and, Denise and Mike and Marty and Jim and Rick and Andre and Sharon and Karen and Steve and Alice and Jamie and and I think that I better stop because it's there's a lot of pressure now. It's like the Oscars. I don't want to forget anyone. <laughs> stop right there. Let's move All on. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, um, I was having a conversation earlier today with a prospective board member and you know, that's the only way to describe our annual conference is almost a family reunion. You know, it's not it's not the typical business meeting. Although we accomplish business and we we uh, do a lot of things that um, are valuable and insightful that we can go back to work and use. But the relationships that you make, the people you get to know, are lifelong. You know, kind of things. They're not transactional like a lot of events. You go and you speed date and you pass a card and you're just trying to get some business. But you really make lifelong friendships in SIR. And um, that's what makes it special, you know? And that's what makes us all, you know, pursue these types of leadership opportunities as, as president and on the board is because it's a passion project. It doesn't feel like an obligation. It's something you want to do, you know, or whatever, right? So, yeah. um, but um, so um, future, you know, you're currently um, head of our integrated marketing at Veris, Ver right? Mm -hmm. And so I know that you're, you're still in the industry, you still see a lot of things going on. Um, what do you, what are some of the, the key trends and, you know, industry topics that are like top of mind for you um, that, you know, that you think are exciting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you said, fast forward to my career now, um, or the point in my career now, I work in you know, as equally a large a company as I did back when I joined SIR. And this one focuses a large degree on operational workflows and information and analytics, um, all those things that are needed to understand the business of risk mm -hmm. and every aspect of the value chain. And, and I get to touch all of that all the time. I surround myself with super smart people and I learn from them every day. And I have a knack for taking very complex things and bringing light to how they all come together and inspire others to, to take those leaps, to do those actions so they can revolutionize and innovate and or even just simply make things easier for their current professionals and customers um, through the application of 
you know, information, data, technology, just that coordination. And uh, the way I do that is at the moment manifesting through speeches and articles and thought leadership and conversation and stories. And, and I, I, ser I serve in that, you know, strategic marketing um, role. And all of this obviously centers very much around market intelligence and competitive intelligence, understanding how everything works and how everything can evolve to work in the future and what's coming, right? I said earlier about those futurist things. That's really my curiosity. I, I love all that stuff. Um, you know, two decades ago, talent drain was the hot conference topic. I don't know if you remember that, but I remember it because that's when I joined SIR. And uh, there's still not as hot of that term, but it's more about this tribal knowledge. How can it be transferred? And, you know, back in 2001, the term data scientist started. So that was the, the start of, oh, what are we gonna do with all this talent drain? What, what you know, and ERM was actually really hot back then. And, you know, the rating agencies were starting to think about, hmm, maybe we should involve that, you know? So the, a lot is, is moving um, quite quickly. The iPhone was only started in 2007 and look at how things have really accelerated. So big data was big a, a decade ago. That term isn't used really. It's um, given way to terms like AI, artificial intelligence, 3D image verification, automation, tools, ecosystems, insure tech, and all of these I get to touch every day. And you can tell I'm excited because I talk faster. Um, but all of those things, um, you know, as an industry, we, I think, are all you know very aware of you know legacy and all this stuff, but we are all also in the mindset that, uh, that and we have an active understanding that we can accelerate innovation and really press into what the future of this industry can be with with you know delivery, serving, customer experience, digital enablement, all that stuff. But it really goes back to the core purpose of why we're here as an industry. And that's to provide you know, security and confidence to make the world go round. And I just think we're at a great time that uh, people can really push the envelope and make things you know, press into the future. So it's, it's a fun time, I think, for our industry. Yeah. That's great. You got me pumped up. I'm excited yeah. to be in the insurance industry. Um, so I guess that brings us around to our last question today is like, what recommendations do you have for SIR? How can we contribute to continuing to move the industry forward? Great question. So I'm enjoying being in a company with a big sandbox with an appetite for innovation. Um, you know, rebuilding the plane while you're flying the plane. Um, the industry may feel slow and calm on the outside, but it's like a duck. Everything seems okay, but those little legs are moving really fast out of view. <laughs> and, you know, we have a very conservative but, and regulated and rock solid, um, you know, uh, industry where, where we must absolutely have accuracy. And so, uh, a lot of testing has to happen before anything can shift. And I appreciate that. I think our whole industry appreciates that, that everybody makes sure. Um, so I think that no matter what you're working on, you've got to find a way to explore and reach beyond what's in front of you. Pressure test it, get new ideas, get out of that myopic mindset, really have more in your view and see how then all of that can um, come back and make you a better professional in whatever you're working on. And SIR is one of those great places that helped me. And so I totally recommend, which is why I wanted to do this conversation. I really recommend that people join a committee. Don't just come to the event, get involved and, and build a relationship here um, that's, that's what I wanted to say about what I recommend for future members. That's awesome. Yes, and I, I could, I should have paid you to say that, uh, you know, so, because, you know, I've been saying for a while that, you know, committees are where the magic happens, right? I mean, you can go to a conference, you can sit in on a webinar, you can be a receiver of the knowledge, but when you get on a committee, um, you really get to contribute 
uh, to the sausage making. You get to see an outcome and um, a result from your contribution. You really even get deeper relationships with the people that are serving with you than someone that's just sitting next to you at, at a conference. Um, and uh, committees are special, you know, and uh, SAR wouldn't exist without, you know, our, our members and especially those super engaged ones that raise their hand and, and get involved and you just learn so much. So thank you for that. It couldn't have been a better recommendation <laughs> if, I, if I had suggested it to you. So <laughs> thank you for that. Um, any last words today, Candice, before we, we end today's session? Oh, no, just late on a Friday, have a good weekend and come back, <laughs> come back strong on Monday. Yeah. So. That's right. Well, I appreciate you being here. I want to thank you for your service and your leadership to the Society of Insurance Research. Uh, I always mention in these sessions that past presidents are members for life. I know you're at a member company already, um, but still, uh, don't be a stranger. Uh, stay involved. Come visit us every once in a while because um, we appreciate you and, and, and we need you. So. Thank you for that and uh, in today's session and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.